Good morning, MFers. I hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I am totally, totally jacked this morning. I'm back at this lake, this, this little lake right here that's like the cleanest lake in the entire state of Nebraska. I was here a couple weeks ago when I came out here and picked up the cow out here in western Nebraska. And I stopped from the bank a little bit and did a, did a little bit of fishing, caught a, a really, really nice fish on a slammer, caught another one that was like four and a half pounds. And so obviously I'm excited to get back here. And as you can see, I'm here early, early, early in the morning. There's the moon up there. It's about 5.15 right now. I'm going to get the boat dumped in and I have some baits, some new baits that I'm very, very excited to use today. Mr. Matt Peters of SouthernSwimBait.com sent me a whole box of baits that included these right here. And of course I got some, some brand new babe swim baits, which are probably sold out right now on Tackle Freaks, but go check and see if they have any left. But he sent me some of these like triple trouts and stuff. And he also sent me, we got this big sexy rat right here, uh, the new Zuma rat that I've never thrown before. And then I went out and bought a couple new baits myself. We got this nine inch slammer. It's I think it's in a golden shiner pattern. It looks really sexy. And then the Mondo, the 12 inch slam piece. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally stoked to get these out and try them out, especially on a super clean lake summer. That's when I throw these baits. And uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I'm not going to be like some guys that buy these expensive big swim baits and just hang on to them to have them be cool in their tack box. We're going to tie them on. We're going to go fish them a little bit. They might not eat them. Who knows? It's bass fishing. You know, we might be throwing a damn swim jig or a flick shake or something in a couple hours here. But regardless, we're going to give them a fair try this morning. See what happens. Let's go. Cause even in the shade it is sunny Somewhere over the rainbow Walking down this big road I stare at walls at night Hoping they do not fall down All we got, don't let me down All we got, don't let me down Alright, time to get this beautiful morning underway Just had on the rat and the 9 inch slammer for now Gonna switch over to that 12 inch probably too Gonna switch between that and the hinkle on the rat rod Gonna try some new things today But the uh, water is crystal clear Moon's still out. We're gonna try to take advantage of this low light feeding opportunity before uh, before it's over. So I'm gonna eh, I'm gonna throw the rat. I'm throwing the rat yet, ever. So want to learn a new bait. Want to catch some dogs. There we go. God, finally took long enough that guy just came up and licked it it is not a big one either look at that isn't that crazy how you can catch like pound and a half fish on a nine inch bait like that that's crazy crazy to me anyway crazy cool hey we're on the board we had one big swirl i was throwing the rat couldn't get him to touch the rat switched over the slammer had one big swirl didn't get to see that fish but besides that it's been pretty dang slow first fish though on the slam piece. Hey, we got him. No, we don't. <laughs> Just had a little guy pop the slammer again. Once again, crazy example of tiny fish syndrome. Trying to eat fish the same size syndrome. All right, guys, been fishing for about an hour, although it's probably hard to tell. The sun is now, um, it's it's coming up. It's above all of the trees. And I just haven't had a ton of bites throwing those two big baits, the, the rat and the nine inch slammer. I've had a couple bumps, had a couple follows, caught that one small fish, but uh, has not been on fire by any means. And I keep getting up here, I'm parallel in the bank and, I, and I'm getting up to these really sexy laydowns and stuff. And I'm not seeing any good fishing. And once in a while, I'll see like a, a one to two pound bass but no big ones and the water's crystal clear. So I would see them if they were up there. I'm, I don't think I'm spooking them because I, I don't know, I've been sneaking around pretty quietly, but that's okay. We're gonna change tactics up a little bit. I'm gonna tie on this uh, this Henkel Shad, maybe be able to draw some fish up from a little bit deeper out off the bank a little ways. And we're gonna try a couple of things that worked last year. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time I was here with Poe Tate's about a year ago, we caught a bunch of four to five pound bass, really good ones, uh, fishing a little worm. So I think I'm gonna tie that worm on a little bit and throw the hinkle around, see if I can get some big followers. I think the hinkle is gonna be key today, especially when that sun gets up in this ultra clear water, those fish are gonna be able to see it. But regardless, beautiful morning on the water. We got a fish under our belt on the big swim bait, but we got a lot of work to do to figure out these fish. So let's go figure them out. <sighs> okay. Just put the hinkle on, had about a four to five pounder, follow it all the way up. I like this wind, the ripple that's going on right now. I think that's gonna help out with this ultra clear water, maybe get some bites, I like that a lot. Just put the hinkle on.
Oh, damn it. Should have caught that one. It's a big one. Oh, eat it. Oh. Another big follow. There he goes. It can definitely be frustrating, that's for sure. Delicate. What's up? <laughs> Random MFR. Eat it. Oh, that's a giant. No. Never seen so many fish. Man, this video is probably super exciting for you guys. Like, oh, there's Melican seeing fish that I can't see, complaining about not being able to catch them. Yeah, pretty fun so far. Well, that's not good. <laughs> My shad's falling apart. Too many damn fish licking it. Now it's got like a scar on it. Probably work better now. There we go. Yes. Finally hooked up on the hinkle. Oh, decent fish too. Come here, buddy. Yep. Hell yeah. I've had three or four bigger than this following it. Maybe he liked the scar. We got a scar on the side of our bait now. I think this guy approved. Definitely approved of it. And he's trying to hook me. All right, there we go, guys. Not a giant. Nice little, uh, probably close to three pounder. Nothing big, but... Get him back in the water. Let's go catch another one. Sick. On the board with the hinkle. Eat it. You're little, but eat it. You're only two pounds. <laughs> God. This fish friggin' love looking at this thing. Damn it. Had four fall with that time. Had one about three and a half pounds. A little bit bigger than the one I just had. Popping it the whole way. I don't know. I, put, I just put these decoy quad hooks on here. Oliver from Big Bass Dreams told me to do that. He obviously knows what he's talking about, but... I'm going to switch back to the hooks I originally had on this. Missing too many bites today. I need to get those to the boat. <laughs> Man, that is a giant. Got sick of watching all these jokers fall on my swim bait every single cast, so I picked up the Nico. And just like that, I caught a big old slaunch to puss like this guy right here. I don't know. It's kind of getting frustrating. At least I'm catching a couple on, on the Hinkle Shad. I'm getting so many follows though. You guys like wouldn't believe how many follows this thing's getting today. Not that it's really that much different from any other day because the thing just has incredible draw power, but uh, it's getting a ton of follows, a ton of three to four pound, five pound follows, even a couple of them. So I figured I'd pick up this little worm, see if I couldn't get sneaky and catch one of them. And got a fish first cast, so we'll see if we can get a big one. Oh, that's what we're gonna do now, huh? Every cast? Yeah, I kind of figured. This little holding area here, this, these lakes are kind of divided up into like little ponds, little miniature ponds, because I think they all used to be separate and then they all flooded together. But this one has more fish in it, more followers on that shed, and more little ones than I've seen anywhere else. This water's crystal clear, so I've been seeing a ton of them. Obviously, this is not the caliber we're going after, but another pretty little clean water fish. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's about enough of that. We might come back to that a little later if we need to catch some more fish, but... Peckerhead Central on the old Nico rig. <laughs> Had a walleye follow at that time. That would have been a first walleye on a glide bait. Oh, God! Oh, big one. No! <sighs> well... That's frustrating. That was like a five pounder. Pretty much ate it off the surface. Just switched hooks back to my original hooks, so I'm confident. I just apparently didn't get a good hook in them. Whew. Damn, I made my heart race. There we go. There we go. Not a big one on the hinkle, but tis a fish nonetheless. Of course, this guy makes it to the boat. Big Juan didn't, but this guy will all friggin' day. And now he's psycho. Look at that, crazy. That fish would eat this bait, but fun. Really hard to put this hinkle shad down when I know what's going to chase 
and eat and how much draw power this thing has as I throw it. It's only a matter of time before we get one of these five, six pounders of the boat and then I'll be happy and want to do it again. There we go. Oh. And dumped another big one. Man, today is going rough, guys. And there she was again, just jumping, waving high. I saw a five pounder. There we go. Yes, finally a little bit better fish. I kept drawing this one in with the swim bait over and over and I was like, screw it. I'm throwing the Nico in there. See if he'll eat it. He ate it. All right, get him back in the water. So that was pretty cool. I've actually drew, drawn that fish in over and over and over, throwing that hinkle by him and getting him to react to it. He's even bumped it a few times and I saw he swam right off the edge of this little high spot I'm fishing right now. And so I was like, screw it. I'm going to throw the little, little Nico finesse rig in there, threw it in there and then boom got it right away. It's been a kind of a frustrating day, but kind of a really cool day at the same time, seeing all these different fish follow and react to this Hinkle Shad. And even though I'm not getting them all to the net, unfortunately today, I've lost two or three really good fish and I've seen so many freaking followers that I wanted to commit and just didn't. It definitely lets me know how the fish react to this bait and how they react to some of these bigger baits. So I can go back in other times and, and fish those baits in a, in a manner and, and impart the right action on them it's gonna allow those fish to react because it's given me so many different opportunities for them to come eat the bait that you really, really learn a lot. And it's insane that the size of the fish that'll follow this thing, the size of the fish that'll eat this thing. Of course, it draws the big ones too, but it draws fish of all sizes. And I truly believe, you know, I just talked to some guys that weren't doing that well, and they've just been kind of pounding the banks and dragging and doing the, the typical stuff with little baits. These fish around here have not seen these baits. And so you seriously just get so many more opportunities to see fish and have fish follow your bait that never would have even reacted or followed any other bait. So it's a great learning opportunity. And of course, a great way to catch a lot more fish so i got a couple more hours here today becky and max are actually waiting for me at johnson lake so i need to uh, probably get going here before too long but hopefully we can get a big one to stick on to the net if not beautiful day on the lake having a great time okay right here coming in <laughs> that was absolutely insane probably one of the best fish i've caught today too he was following this thing right up to the boat and just did enough to make him react to it. Nice, uh, probably three and a half pounder. Sweet. That's just, that's too fun. That shouldn't even be legal. There we go, big one, big one. Come here, yes. God, this fish looks so big out there because they got those big frames. This one actually had a friend with him. I'm gonna hang out right here, make it the same cast, but that's another freaking donk on the hankle. The Einhorn, as the Zark would call it. That's it. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is a man. Not a giant, but once again, get her back in the water. Oh man, this is addictive. How the hell am I supposed to pick up a Senko or a swim jig or a crankbait or anything else when they're eating the giant bait this freaking well okay guys just got off the water another really really freaking fun day fishing clean water in the post spawn with those big baits seriously i can't tell you guys how much fun i'm having with these and, and just learning you can learn so much more i feel like than just going out and throwing the same old stuff every single day i love to catch fish just as much as everyone else so it does hurt me sometimes when i'm just seeing these big followers and everything and, and not getting them to react but after a while when you figure out the mood of the fish and you figure out what they want with that cadence you can usually get a couple to go and it seems to be so much more rewarding catching a, even a three pounder on that big bait than it does a three pounder on a, a senko or a, a wacky rigged worm or something like that so another super fun day on the water now be looking in the next couple days because i went out and i bought something really fun to add another dimension to my channel it's probably going to be a total disaster because i've never done anything or any videos like what i'm going to be putting out probably my next video or the one after that but i'm super jacked to check it out so be checking back for that video either tomorrow or the next day thank you guys so much for watching all these videos i seriously appreciate it so much you guys have been blowing up the views lately so thank you so 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 much for that you guys are seriously the best i see people three hours away from home yelling my last name and, and big fans of the channel and everything 
totally stoked to see that as always. But uh, I gotta get out of here and get back to the house. So I'll catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.